What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my 3 Nightfall rewards. In case you guys haven't heard, in my last video I had said why I haven't been uploading here lately, and it's because, well, I'm not really settled right now. Let's just say I found a new place, and I'm going to be going to this new place on May 15th. And not to mention, I also signed up for school, which I'm going to be starting here soon as well, which will be coming up in fall. I guess not too soon, but still, it's months away. I'm going to be going for a bachelor's in psychology, just because that's what I want to study. It piques my interest. Basically what psychology is, is the study of the human mind and its functions, such as behavior and the emotions of a person. Like, why do they act a certain way, or why are they feeling a certain way? Some people like to hide their emotions, and psychology helps you better understand if they are hiding their emotions or if they're not, too. I don't know, there is all sorts of things that you learn in psychology about people. You see what I'm saying, guys, for those of you that don't really understand what psychology is? It's a pretty interesting field. Actually, it's very interesting because it's around us all the time. And let me tell you something, body language does not lie. Yeah, sure, words might. But body language typically does not, especially when you fully understand. I don't know, it's just something that I found myself interested in, very interested in. So I thought that this is something I want to go for. I'm not sure yet what field I'm going in exactly with psychology, but I know this is something I want to pursue. So while I'm doing my four years to get this bachelor's degree, I'm sure I'll find out what field that I want to go in with this psychology degree. But yeah, so once I am completely settled in my new place, I'll be grinding out videos a lot. And then when comes fall, I'll be grinding out videos slower, but I'll still be getting out videos to you guys. But yeah, that's the whole wrap up with your old rifle. But anyways, to start this off for my Nightfall rewards, I pretty much got shite. As you guys can see, the purifier dropped. And the perks on it slide further with this weapon. And kills with this weapon grant bonus reserve ammo. I'm not exactly sure if this weapon is going to be all that great because I've never used it nor do I ever want to use it. I prefer my Light of the Abyss over this thing. And, and the MG18A harm's way. I actually used to use this in the Crucible, and it actually did me pretty well, but it is a heavy weapon, and of course, heavy weapons are gonna do you pretty well in the Crucible. But overall, it's a heavy machine gun, and as you guys can see, it has random perks, and it's not that great. I would prefer Against All Odds, which won't be random perks, and you can buy it from the Crucible Quartermaster. And also, Ascent Energies were dropped. Anyways, for my next set of rewards, and actually this Nightfall went by super quick just because the arc burn damage was amazing. I used Light of the Abyss, Fang of Uryuts, and the Thunderlord, and it just absolutely wrecked havoc in this Fogolf Nightfall strike. Anyways, I called my next set of rewards. I said I'm going to get Strange Coins, bada bing, bada boom, I got Strange Coins. And hey, Strange Coins is always handy. As you guys can also see, an icebreaker was dropped, but my buddy already has an icebreaker, so that's pretty much just an exotic shard dropping for him. And also, a shitty scout rifle. But believe it or not, this scout rifle doesn't look all that bad. Missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine, and one random bullet in the magazine causes considerable bonus damage. And as you guys can see, next to those words is the luck of the Irish. The four-leaf clover. And I'm not exactly Irish, so I'm not sure if my luck is exactly on point. But it is a new Monarchy Sky Rifle, and I preferably would not choose this over like the Vision of Confluence or the Fang of Uryut. But I guess it all depends on people's preference. Some people are going to be like, yeah, that Sky Rifle's awesome rifle, and here's the reason why. Now shut your mouth on your judgment. Hey, I'm just giving my first impressions. I've never used this Sky Rifle, so I can't say it does good or it does bad. But in my opinion, it's shite. Alright, now for the last set of rewards before old rifle gets the heck out of here. Starting off with the Prudence 2 sniper rifle. This sniper rifle can have armor piercing rounds, and if you guys didn't know, armor piercing rounds with a sniper rifle can shoot through thin walls. And speaking of thin walls, I'm actually going to be showing you a new cheese spot that I found for Nexus, and who knows, Nexus might be our next nightfall. Then again, I could be way off. But when Nexus does come for the nightfall, the Nightfall will be a lot more simple. But overall, the Prudence 2 Sniper Rifle is also shite. It's a new Monarchy. I don't know why New Monarchy keeps dropping for Alone and Glory, but it seems like New Monarchy is attracted to him. And I had gotten Ascended Shards for my Warlock, and the Heavy Machine Gun, the Culling, was dropped. And the perks on it says, Kills with this weapon grants bonus damage for a short time, and increases the reload speed of this weapon when its mag is empty. But overall, if you guys can see the statistics on the Culling, looks horrible. I mean, the rate of fire is great, that's great, but if the impact or range or stability is not that good on a heavy machine gun, then 
it's not going to be that great. But overall, the calling doesn't look that great, as you guys can see to statistics. But I could be wrong. I've never used this machine gun. The magazine size also is pretty large, so who knows. And the perks for it says, kills with this weapon grant bonus damage for a short time. And also another perk says, increases the reload speed of this weapon when its mag is empty. But the stats, in my opinion, I never used this weapon once again, but the stats, in my opinion, don't look that great. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much wrapping up my shitty Nightfall rewards. Did you guys get anything good? If you guys did, please be sure to share them. You know, rub it in in my face. Be like, yeah, Rifle, I got the yellow horn. What's up? Or, yeah, Rifle, my team went in in the Nightfall, and we all got exotics. Yeah, you suck. I rock. But yeah, guys, I'm out of here, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching my video. Hopefully, I see you guys stick around for my next videos. I'm going to be making more content. More content is going to be coming to you all. But I'm out of here once again. I know I just said that. But I'm saying it again. Thanks everyone for watching my video. And if you did enjoy the video, please remember to leave a like. It's much appreciated by me. And not to mention, it helps the videos rating out a lot. A lot more than you would think. One single like makes a difference. But yeah, peace. What's going on everybody? It's your Rifle here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some nice advantage spots for the Crucible maps. Now I'm not going to be covering every single Crucible map in this one video. But I will be randomly selecting a few that I would like to show you guys.